Good morning, Coleraine All-Stars. I hope you're having a lovely start to your Tuesday. Wanted to go over the problem of the day with you real quick. Oscar R. had 10 pieces of candy he wanted to share with four of his friends. Is there a way to split up the candy evenly between all five people? Normally, I would make you figure out that he's splitting it up between five people because it's Oscar and his four friends. But today, since division is pretty new, I gave that piece of information to you. So let's go ahead and write down what we already know and what we're looking for. So what I want to know, or what I already know, is that there are five people and that there are ten pieces of candy. What I'm looking for is, can everyone get the same amount of candy? Can I split it up in such a way that everyone would get a fair share? So here I have the equations written. I can write it with this symbol, 10 divided by 5. Okay. This is a division sign. Or I can write it like this, 10 divided by 5. It's two ways. And the answer to a division problem is called a quotient. Okay, so we're looking for the quotient here. We want to know if I have five people, so there are my five people, if I can divide it up evenly. And one way that makes it real easy to do this is just to count out 10 until everybody has the same amount. So I'll show you what I mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have I passed out all my candy yet? Nope, I need to keep passing it out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now it's all passed out, and everybody has the same amount. With division, it's a lot like fractions. It has to be broken up into equal groups, or it doesn't work. Okay? Um, so, we have two pieces of candy in each group. So over here, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Or if we have it written like this, 10 divided by 5 equals 2.